Hey guys, I'm really pumped to show you guys this video today. I'm going to first walk through kind of the what, and then I'll show you guys the how. So this is a browse abandonment flow. And historically, the way that you set this up, right, is you'd grab this product block, bring it over here, and then you'd kind of pick like a default, let's say best sellers, right? And you'd tick this box for personal recommendations, right? So if we look at what that actually entails here in one second, we'll see certain items. However, I was able to now create a new block um, that shows people the items that they were recently viewing, not just kind of random items based off past behavior or kind of past purchase or whatnot. This actually will take items that people have viewed recently and show them those, which is really helpful. Um, and it's new within Clavio. So if we kind of do a preview here, this is what it looks like. And this is for this girl, Lauren. So we can see Lauren was looking at a couple of these things here today, which is the 30th that I'm filming. So this is the item right here, the scrunchie that's being showcased in the top. And then this one right here, right, is maybe items that are recommended and similar to the scrunchie um, or maybe items that they've purchased in the past. However, this new block, which I'll show you how to create in one second, is items that this person has actually viewed recently, right? So these are technically more relevant. If we look at her profile here, right, we see you know, the same leopard and kind of dusty rose are being recommended kind of down here um, in, in kind of as a set and whatnot, because she was looking at a three piece set. So that's kind of how the recommendations can work now. And this is brand new within Clavio. We wouldn't necessarily have both of these in one email. I kind of wanted to just illustrate the side by side of how much more kind of personal this is now that we're able to take items that this person has individually viewed. So what I would probably do is I would go ahead and just delete this. I end up adding that to kind of have a space in between. And this would be you know, the new one. And all we have to do to set this up is go over here on the left-hand panel to data feeds. I already set this up, but um, all you have to do is add a product feed, right? So name this whatever, right? I named it Chase View Base Feed. Um, and then all you have to do, ordering products first, right, by popular, select a metric, is the API viewed product, you'd create the product feed. So again, I already did that. So we'll just look at it here. And all you have to do in this email, instead of clicking where it had like popular or best sellers, you would click the one that you save, which again, takes the trigger of view based. So this person, Lauren, will see products that are specifically recommended for her based off items that she's viewed, you know, let's say in the past 24 hours or in the past week, two weeks, depending on what that data looks like. So this is kind of a new hack to make your browse abandonment and other some flow emails really hyper relevant to each person in a lot more personal of a way. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.